Namaskar, I'm Nidhi Kumar, you're watching Science Time. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman presented the Union Budget 2022 on the 1st of February. In this episode of Science Time, let's see how the Union Budget is going to change the S&T ecosystem of our country. Budget 2022 gives science and technology the much needed fillip. Department of Space allocated Rs 13,949 crores in the budget, Rs 4,449 crores more than last fiscal. Ayush Ministry's budget allocation stands up at 3,050 crores, a fourfold increase over seven years. And let's see story number one. Well, the Ministry of Science and Technology has been allocated Rs 14,217 crores in the unit budget 2022-23. The Ministry has three departments, the Department of Science and Technology, the Department of Biotechnology and the Department of Scientific and Industrial Research, DSIR. A number of Rs 6,000 crores has been allocated to the Department of Science and Technology, Rs 2,581 crores to the Department of Biotechnology and Rs 5,636 crores have been allocated to the Department of Scientific and Industrial Research. All these departments played a key role in combating the COVID-19 pandemic in the country. The central sector schemes under the Department of Science and Technologies were allocated Rs 2,894 crores. At the same time, Rs 1,680 crores have been allocated to the central sector schemes under the Department of Biotechnology. Also, Rs 39 crores has been allocated to the central sector schemes under the Department of Scientific and Industrial Research. The startup ecosystem has benefited from the extension of tax benefits for another year. The budget has also begun the walk down the road towards net zero by 2070. It has been said that the Finance Minister's speech on low carbon development strategy was significant. The budget makes an allocation of Rs 19,500 crores for promoting solar energy towards goal of generating 280 gigawatts by 2030. Calling it a futuristic budget with scientific vision and startup incentives, Dr. Jitendra Singh, Union Minister of State Independent Charge, Science and Technology said, under the leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, India looks forward to a crucial decade ahead, which will primarily be determined by two factors, economy, science and technology and innovation. And let's take a look at story number two. Well, after a steep cut last year, the Department of Space has been allocated Rs 13,949 crores in this budget, of which Rs 8,228 crores have been earmarked for capital expenditure. Rs 700 crores has been allocated for the New Space India Limited, a newly formed public sector undertaking under the Department of Space. The New Space India Limited, a PSU under the Department of Space, will execute the PSLV CS51 launch carrying the Amazonia satellite from Brazil along with a few smaller Indian satellites, Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman said in her budget speech. New Space India Limited has been established to tap the benefits of the research and development carried out by the Department of Space and the Indian Space Research Organization. The company will spearhead the commercialization of various space products including product ionization of launch vehicles, technology transfer and marketing of space products. Sita Raman said, as a part of Gaganyaan, India's manned space mission, four Indian astronauts are being trained on generic space flight aspects in Russia. The first unmanned launch is slated for December 2021. And let's take a look at story number three. Well, cost-effective Ayush services under the National Ayush Mission have gotten a major boost in the Union Budget 2022 presented by Finance Minister Nirmala Sita Raman. The total allocation of budget to Ayush Ministry in the last seven years has increased over four times from 691 crores to Rs 3,050 crores. Recognizing the importance of the traditional medicine system of India, including yoga and naturopathy, in the current pandemic-led situation, the central government has been emphasizing in the augmentation of works done by the Ayush Ministry. In the present budget, this is reflected in the increase of budget provisions in various Ayush sectors and core areas. Increasing the budget amount under NAM, a centre-sponsored scheme up to 800 crores will help Ayush in the upgradation of 
the hospitals and dispensaries, support cultivation of medicinal plants and in many other areas including an increase in export of value added items of medicinal plants. The NAM had earlier received a budget of rupees 500 crores. Growing popularity and dependency on the digital space, the central government emphasized building the digi infrastructure which Ayush has well supported. The various provisions under the budget will see a major shift towards digitizing the entire Ayush sector under Ayush grid, considering the strength of Ayurveda, Yoga and other traditional Indian systems of medicine, the Global Centre for Traditional Medicine in India is being set up and the budgetary provisions have been done for the establishment of this centre. The establishment of WHO in India directly will affect investment in the traditional medicine sector in India and India can emerge as a global leader with concerted efforts. The research councils, centre of excellence and autonomous bodies also get a fair boost in the budget as they were allotted rupees 1870.1 crores. Let's hope this budgetary allocation will boost our scientific productivity in the coming days. And with this, we come to an end of this edition of Science Time. We'll be back with more interesting stories from the world of science next week. Stay tuned to India Science on that note. Namaskar, many thanks for watching.